So here's something I've been thinking about. We use the term railroading to describe a bad story where players have no agency and cannot change the direction of the story no matter what they do. You know, it's a, it's a metaphor. We're saying this course is laid out ahead of it. We're, we're not able to change course like a train. But is that a good metaphor for a bad story where players have no agency and can't change the direction no matter what they do? And when players show up to play a game, there are already a number of rails that they've chosen to be on. They already know which game you're running. Is it Pathfinder or is it Fate Accelerated? They expect a certain story genre. And furthermore, they expect the flavor of that genre that you as a group have decided you like. You know, is it more comedic, more serious, whatever. And of course, they're also expecting to play the characters that they picked out. That seems like it goes without saying, but that, that's an expectation they know going into it. They're gonna play this character. That's at least four different boundaries that you've all agreed upon at the outset. Outside of those boundaries, the game doesn't exist. Players have a place they want to go at the outset of an adventure. And I'm, I'm just saying, why does railroad have to mean taking them the place that you want them to go? And obviously what we're talking about is players should be able to make choices. The story should react to the things that they do. It should not be your novel or screenplay idea. And I'm asking, is railroading the best metaphor for games where that doesn't happen? And this is important because the metaphors we use shape the way that we think. If you're thinking railroading is bad, so how do I get rid of anything that looks, smells, or feels like a rail, then you might overlook some of the needed definition, the story, the genre, the flavor of the genre that your game actually needs. That's what I did when I started trying to write more interactive games. Structure went out the window. Everything was ad lib and the story never went anywhere. And I'm not saying we should do away with the term railroading. It's just that there are more metaphors than that that are helpful. You know, what if your metaphor for good storytelling was in every session you have to cut off one of their escape routes? You know, it might not be physical escape routes, it's, it's a metaphor. Or in every session the stakes have to rise. Or maybe it's not even a metaphor, maybe every new session has to meet these distinctives, these criteria to fill the genre that you're playing. Couldn't you use the metaphor that the players have purchased a ticket to go to a certain destination? And they don't know what kind of sights and excitement are going to happen along the way. They just know this is where they wanted to go. I guess my point with this one is metaphors matter and we shouldn't use metaphors without thinking about them, whether or not they serve us in the kind of game we're trying to create right now. So what do you think? Do you think the term railroading lines up with what we mean when we say railroading? Or do you have a different metaphor you use to ensure player agency in your games. Leave me a comment. I know you've got opinions on these more theoretical points of game mastering or you probably wouldn't be watching you probably wouldn't be watching this channel. There we go. There'll be another video next week. Be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned.